Good morning, Grand High. My name is Bo. My name is Luttrell. Today is Monday, February 24th. And you're watching Pacers, Pacers on, on Demand. Demand. Good morning Pacers, my name is Angelie Kang and today we're going to go interview Advanced Theater Productions. Let's go! Hi, who are you and what do you do? Good morning, my name is uh, Coach Tam, or Miss Eugene, and I teach theater here at Grant High School. How do you feel about teaching Advanced Theater? I feel really good. Um, theater is my passion, but when it comes to advanced theater, the objective, the goal is, is to prepare students um, with theater, theatrical techniques for when they leave high school, whether they want to pursue performing arts or just take another path. Um, the goal is to have them well prepared or to create a pathway or opportunity to the next level in theater, performance arts, or just simply um, wherever life takes them, whether it be school or on, on the job force. They can use theater tools and techniques to be successful anywhere they go. Would you recommend this to any other students and why? Oh yeah, I would definitely recommend theater to any student because it is very uncomfortable for a lot of um, students and a lot of people in general because getting in front of people and speaking is a challenge and it's been said that it's probably the number one fear in most humans. But if you conquer getting up in front of people, not, not uh, only reciting lines and memorization, it builds confidence and um, in more ways than one. It also helps to release any tension that you, that you may be having to um, express all forms of life through art. So it's very therapeutic for a lot of students, even me as a teacher. So I would recommend it for any student. Even if they think that they don't want to go into theater, you should at least take it because at some point in life, it will help you. Well, thank you for your time. Hi, who are you and what do you do? My name is Jasmine. I'm a sophomore in advanced theater. What is your favorite part about advanced theater? Um, the fact that like I like how we like we like when we do musicals, like the singing and the dancing, it gets you like hyped and you feel better about yourself. How has advanced theater impacted you? Um, um, it gets you out of your comfort zone and like makes you feel better about yourself. Um, I've become more humble. Like I used to be very shy, and now like I get around. So it's like yeah. Um, would you recommend this class to students and why? Uh, uh, definitely, because if you're the type of person to be shy, you should come to theater. Like, it's fun sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And if you like dancing and acting, you should do that. So, yeah. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Hi, who are you and what do you do? My name is Denzel and I am an actor in advanced theater. What is your favorite part about advanced theater? My favorite part is the acting and the dancing because I like dancing personally and acting is like one of my favorite things to do also. How has this impacted you? It has impacted me by turning me into a whole different person, getting me out of my comfort zone and like just opening me up to new things to do. Would you recommend this to other students and why? Um, yeah, I would recommend because like if you're like a shy person, it like it'll make you like want to like talk more, it like it just brightens your whole day just being in this class. And also we have a play called In the Heights that should be here April like twenty something and I just want you all to be there because I am the main character Usnavi and hopefully all of you guys will go and enjoy. Thank you for your time. Yeah. And that was Advanced Theater Productions. Let's go back to the studio. Field, last call. First meet February 29th, 2020 at Endercom. Welcome to the jungle. Next meet March 7th, 2020 at Grant. Welton Mo Moore relays time to stop making excuses and time to commit, time to change, time to make a change, time to challenge yourself, time to be a leader, time to join the Grant 2020 track and field team. No experience needed. Just a great attitude. Earn PE credits when? Monday and Thursday at 2.57 p.m. Wednesday at 12.57 p.m. This week, we'll try and concentrate on combining and refining essays to submit for scholarships. Bunches of deadlines and events coming up. Progress reports due this week. Check with your teachers. Meet in G3 from 1245 until 4. Rides and snacks available.
Text Ms. Stiffel if you need one, a one-on-one -on -one assistance at 916-524-2787. Do you or your parents need help filing taxes? Grant High School offers free tax preparation. The next dates to get your taxes prepared and filed for free is February 29th and March 28th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Again, this service is free and provided by IRS trained volunteers. For more information and for future dates, contact Mr. Rosetto in G5 or 211. To make your appointed, this is a great way to save on tax for prep, for tax prep services. Prom is April 18th from 6 to 10 p.m. The theme this year will be Great Gatsby. Tickets are $90 and include dinner and dessert. Souvenir tickets are $5. Guest passes will be available beginning in March. The event will be held at Elks Tower at 921 11th Street in downtown. Last day for tickets sells is April 1st. And the alumni scholarship is out. Below are the... <laughs> Three types of scholarships that the Alumni Association are awarding this year. Application info and requirements. Number and amount of scholarships to be awarded at graduation in 2020 are 1 at $20,000, 3.8 GPA or higher, 6, $4,000, 3.5 GPA or higher, and 6, $2,000, 3.0 GPA or higher. Scholarships may be used for attendance at a university, community, college, or private vocational trade school. Praises on Demand is brought to you by the Grand Student Programming Network. My name is Latrell. And my name is Belle. Have, Have an, an amazing, amazing day, day Pacers. Pacers.